All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Guys, tuning in. Listen, got a treat for you. Got Pastor Paul Mays with me today, and I'm telling you, this is this is exciting. This is exciting here. Well, I am not a pastor. I'm just a Christian. But hey, <laughs> I, have that, I have that down in my uh, thing right there. Just a Christian. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm I'm actually not a pastor though. I'm just a I don't I'm not even a pulpit preacher. I'm just a Christian. Just a a servant. Man, see that's that's what I'm talking about. That's humble. I mean, yeah, there's, nothing gotta, me. there's nothing to me. I'm just a man. I don't have any authority. I'm, I don't have an education. I just have a Bible and uh, uh, I love John 14, 15 and a fear Ecclesiastes 12, 13 of God. I just I just fear God. I love God and I want to go to heaven and I want to help other people go with me. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. They're coming in, trickling in. All right. Yeah, man, that that I, I love that. That's that's humbleness. I I, I only want to be surrounded by those. Uh, I mean, I lived, you know, I lived in sin. We were we were visiting right before we went live, and I lived in sin, man. I'm, I'm you know, I am keenly aware of my shortcomings and that I mm -hmm. need Jesus keenly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Monique, you're good. You're good. We are just get get about to get to the meat and potatoes momentarily. Mm -hmm. I'm just allowing some good folks to come in. I know that that they're, they're so used to the to the uh the Tuesday and Thursday, but this is a kind of like a spinoff. Cool. Yes, indeed. Howdy, Kevin. Howdy, Nicholas, and howdy, Monique. Good to see y'all. Yes, indeed. God is good. It's a blessed Monday. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna go ahead on and uh, grace them with this, <laughs> with this uh, intro, and then we're gonna right. get started. All right. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the way. Yes, indeed. This is Oscar D, and this is Shooting the Breeze with Oscar D. A spinoff of Hawk Moto. Y'all know what time it is. I'm your host, Oscar D, and I got the wonderful, wonderful Paul Mays with me today. I'm telling you, man, this is going to be a treat, guys. Understand that. <laughs> howdy, howdy. James Calloway <laughs> says, howdy, Paul. Love watching a few of your videos today. James, that's encouraging, and I appreciate it. I'm grateful. Man, it's great having you, Mr. Mays. I want to tell y'all a little bit something before I allow him to introduce himself for those of you that may not know. But this this gentleman here helped me a lot in my walk of faith. Um, I saw him on TikTok um, a while back, and I liked the message. I, I like the delivery. I like the message and something pulled me in. And I, I remember actually asking him a question because I noticed that he would he would answer questions. So I asked him a question and it was actually about my hair. It was about long hair. Hmm. And um, he the way that he answered it. It. It helped me out a lot. He, he he directed me to how we are to work out our own salvation in fear and trembling. And it, it, gave, it gave me a lot of clarity and I had to go and search the scriptures and, and it brought me comfort that someone would give me a answer like that that's not condemning or 
he didn't laugh at me. He didn't, he didn't make me feel dumb for asking that question. And we spoke and, and um, I asked him, would he help me get more edified? And he, he took me through these exercises and um, it was like a class. And he had me going into the scriptures. And I'm, as I'm going in it to, to answer these questions, I'm, I'm learning and I'm learning more and more and more on how I'm supposed to be following Christ. And um, he actually helped me with the situation with my mother as well. And I, all I can say is thank you. <laughs> glory be to God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, God gets all the glory, all of it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's super encouraging to hear about your mom. Yeah, that's yeah, really encouraging. So I want you to tell these folks who you are and what yeah. is it that you do, yeah. Mr. Mays. Yeah. Well, my name is Paul Mays, and I'm a Christian, just a Christian. There's no prefix before that. There's no suffix after it. I'm not a hyphenated Christian. There's no uh, substitution for that. Like. Not a Protestant, not a Catholic, not a Baptist, Methodist, Wesleyan, Pelagian, Pentecostal, or many, none of that stuff. Uh, the disciples were called Christians first at Antioch, Acts 11, 26. And there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved, Acts 4, 12. That's authority, no other authority. Uh, whatever mm -hmm. we do has to be by the authority of Jesus Christ, Colossians 3, 17. That would include the, the name which we wear. So I belong to Christ. So I'm a Christian. I'm a disciple of Christ, a follower of Jesus Christ. He's the only way, John 14, 6. And uh, it is his blood that grants the remission of sins for those who are in him, in Christ. And then we'll cover, I'm sure we'll cover that tonight. Um, oh, you know it. Yes. You know it. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Doing, amen. Amen. I love doing what I do. Um, I'm actually a full-time servant of the Lord. I, I work all every day, all day. I work in the kingdom somehow, some way. Um, I'm a hymnist. Like I'm reaching around, like thinking I'm going to find something to pull up. Yeah, I am. So I'm a hymnist. Um, this is not a pitch. I'm a hymnist. <laughs> and these are my, this is a CD that I've written. Um, all of these are original acapella teaching hymns. So what mm -hmm. I do is I write the the doctrine of Christ. Second John 1 9 says he that abides not in the doctrine of Christ has not God. But he that abides in the doctrine of Christ has both the father and the son. So it's sticking with the words of Jesus sourced from the completely sufficient Bible that results in us being Christians. So I write mm -hmm. his truth into sermons in song form. So these are all sermons on here. Um, like I can do all things is the first song. So Philippians 4.13. Um, how has he called you to serve obedience um, and being made perfect became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. That's Hebrews five, nine. So it is, it is the, the way that we're Christians open up your Bible. And I normally, I pick up my phone at this point, so I'm going to do it. I pick <laughs> up my Bible, my phone. Mm -hmm. I have a spiritual question. Well, God promised that the answer is in the Bible and we'll get it. And that's what yes. you do. And, and if you do what the Bible says, that's how you're a Christian, just a Christian. And I'll go mm -hmm. as, hard, as far as to say anything else, like saying I'm a such and such kind of Christian, whatever that such and such is, it strips the glory from Jesus Christ. Yes, are, it does. There's no hyphenated Christians in the Bible. He Just didn't tell us to be anything but holy and follow him. Yeah, that's, that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah. Jo John 8, 31 and 32. Um, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if, huge, huge conditional word, if, you abide in my word, you are my disciples. Mm -hmm. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So those two are together right there. And, and, and that is huge. If I abide in his word, which is sourced from the Bible, that's how I'm his disciple. If I go over here to these man-made manuals and creed books and catechisms and handbooks <laughs> and guidebooks and, and get, get what I do from that, I'm not Jesus' disciple. Nope. You're looking for another source That's when it. he is the source. That's a fact. <laughs> yeah. The word was yep. made flesh and dwelt among us. John 1 14. The word is living and it is truth. John 17, 17. That's why I tell people I, if it's not in Bible, I don't want to hear it. Amen to that. I, I don't. Amen. I'm not listening to anything that's outside of that. Yep. Anything outside of scripture is a lie. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All scripture is God breathed. 
profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and righteousness. The man of God may be perfectly equipped unto every mm -hmm. good work. Second Timothy 3, 16, 17. It's the Bible. Yes, it's sir. the source. Source of truth. Al, I got my first question for you, Mr. Mays. All right. I'm ready. What brought you to Christ? My parents uh, raised me. They, my, my father's passed away. He was, he died a faithful Christian and my mother is a faithful Christian. They brought me to the assembly of the one church that you can all read about in the Bible. So Matthew 16, 18, I will build my church and mm -hmm. the gates of hell shall not prevail against prevail. it, it. Mm -hmm. So what we pick up from that is singular, possessive, permanent, one mm -hmm. church, one church, just like there's one God. We all believe there's one God. We all mm -hmm. believe there's one Jesus and one Holy Spirit, and one Bible, one faith, one source of truth. Well, it only logically mm -hmm. follows that there's one church. So my mm -hmm. parents, and it's it's abiding in the doctrine of Christ that determines whether we are that church that he promised still exists. Remember, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it, ever. Mm -hmm. It's it's always going to exist. And, and that's not until like there's so much religious division, you have to pick and choose which denomination you want. No, no, no. And not only until he burns the earth up when he comes in the clouds. No, mm -hmm. no, no. It's forever. She is the one holy bride and she's going to heaven with him. He's the one bridegroom and she is the one bride. So he's taking her home. So my parents uh, raised me. My, my mother brought my father to the one church of the Bible. And that was in the 50s, the late 1950s. And then uh, they raised me assembling with that one church. So I, I was brought, brought up assembling with the one church we can all read about in the Bible, the church that belongs to Christ, the one that wears his name and abides in his doctrine. And then I was a wild animal, absolutely selfish brat, spoiled selfish brat living against <laughs> Christ for all of my 20s. All of my 20s was living in, in sin. I started to say hedonism, but nah, sin. That's what I lived in. Mm -hmm. I lived in sin, open rebellion against God. Mm -hmm. Woo. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think we've all, we've all gone through that phase, unfortunately. Oh, man. So um, I do have, you still there? Okay. Yeah, you froze for a second. I think I think it was my connection. I'm good. I think okay. I'm good. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, good. You said yeah, so, we, we've all... Did you start to Yeah, say, we've think, all... We Yeah, I was saying we've all been in those shoes of rebellion and... Yeah. And, yeah. and it's... Uh, man, it's like one, once you're on the other side of it... Yeah. And you see it for what yeah. it is, it's like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sweet relief. It's it's desperate. Yeah, desperate relief. Just clinging to God because you lived against Him, and once you're back with Him, you're just like, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Kevin Baldwin's with us. He's a Christian, and I brought him to Christ via TikTok. He's with us. He did not know the truth, and I brought him using that same study. Uh, that yeah, I, I used with I, you. I love it. <laughs> I had a I had a, a moment here just a moment ago, y'all, before we started the broadcast. Oscar told me that I had taken him through the study. I didn't even remember doing it. I mean, I did not <laughs> remember doing it because I do it. I do this all the time. Like the hymns are. A, yeah, a big it's a lot of work. work. Yeah. Yeah. It's constant work and, and rewarding, mm -hmm. and satisfying work. Like this is a big part of my work. Right. I write sermons in song form. I didn't even finish talking about that. What happens is. I hold meetings. I go to an assembly, a building of the church somewhere in some other state, and I hold meetings where I teach um, sermons in song form. Like every sermon I deliver is a song. So the way it works mm -hmm. is I set up the topic, and then I put the music on the screen, and mm -hmm. we all sing in four-part acapella harmony. We all sing the song together. And then you'll nice. see you'll see all these scriptures coming by with those lyrics, and you'll see some of those lyrics are just dead on scriptures, like uh -huh. um, like I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. That's uh, Acts eight thirty seven, the Ethiopian nobleman's conversion, the eunuch, and he said, you know, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So we sing that. So what happens mm -hmm. is we sing the whole song, verses and several verses, and a chorus, and then when we get to the end. 
We start at the top and we look at every lyric and every scripture that supports every lyric. And that is my sermon. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sort of like a sermon outline. And we look at the scriptures and we talk about each verse and why we sang what we sing. Now, the reason we do that is because Colossians 3.16, sing, teach, admonish, Colossians 3.17, whatever you do has to be authorized by Jesus. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we examine my teaching. We, we test me. First John 4, 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are from God, for there's many false prophets going out into the world. So what I do is I get up there and say, hey, take it, tear me apart. Do not take what I'm saying for granted. Instead, let's look at the scriptures together. So we, uh, we go, we go hard and we uh, do this um, six, I deliver six messages in four days is the general format three on Sunday nice. and then one on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night. That's generally the format. Sometimes I do different. One time in, uh, I, I always say, I'll let you, I'll preach as much as you let me. And one time in, <laughs> in Kansas, they took me up on it and I delivered nine sermon songs in four days. It was awesome. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's good. That's good. Good. That's good. Solid work, man. It is man. Kevin. So, uh, Honey cuts with us, and he called me Amen, Paul May's warrior. It's a, it's a fight. <laughs> it, so a fight. it's funny because you you kind of just answered my next question, which was, All right. I wanted to ask you, do you have a specific calling, and what is it? And yeah, you're, you're covering it. Yeah, it it's it's hymns, it's preaching, it's personal evangelism, and it's using all of my peculiar. I mean, I'm I'm eccentric. I am. I've got ducks and chickens out here, and I mm -hmm. uh, garden and can and bake and weld and sew and do a blue million things. And, um, I've figured out I'm probably hardcore ADHD. Probably. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never been diagnosed. I, this is really funny. I told this one brother that I'm, well, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm hardcore ADHD. And the brother goes, Oh, Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say I don't care. I do care. I love it. I love that that God has given me this brain that just pow, 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 pow. Maybe that, that off. maybe the ADHD is a gift. It's a gift. I I consider it to be. I know people that are. Uh, I know a um a Christian who's a contractor and he has hardcore OCD, and his work is amazing. Just well, amazing. That, he harnessed it. I consider I consider myself to have harnessed the things that that the way God has made me. And I've written like 300 sermon songs at this point. So, uh -huh. you know, I feel like I got that joke yeah. dialed in. Yeah, you got it. Man. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so that it really it's personal evangelism is is a huge, huge part of my work. Preaching mm -hmm. and then writing hymns that are sermons, which is preaching. So it's it's all of it. It's using all the, the talents. Um, I also, um, it's a lot of artwork too. I mean, I'm, um, I'm getting ready to, I think I'm getting ready to show you something that's, well, well, I thought I was going to show you something. Um, looking for, I'm just looking for a slide from a, well, here, here's one. So this is some of the art that I've done. And normally it's photography. Excuse my dirty fingernails. I've been working with my tractors. So this is a check. And it's a sermon, and the whole thing's a sermon. Uh, oh, but, that's nice. Yeah. So I've, I've, that's a sermon, and I'll hand it out. I recently delivered this sermon, handed it out to everybody, and we looked. And similar, similarly to how I do my my sermon songs, we looked at all of the points of this. It's uh, hey, I'm gonna need a couple of those, man. I'll I'll email it to you. Yeah. And you all right. Cool. Out. I've got it yeah. in a format where you can print it out and then just put four on a page and cut them out. You can hand them out. Okay. And, it's a it's a stimulating like a it, it's it stimulates you to I mean it just makes yeah. you think yeah, yeah. so I, I, I can have my wife pass that out too yeah absolutely. yeah that'll be a good and thing to give put, out you can put your uh you can put your information on the back like uh -huh. email me here or for a private Bible study and then put your phone number yeah. or whatever or or we meet mm -hmm. at this building at this time or whatever uh -huh. whatever you want on the back and then it's a good study I mean if, they, yeah. if you hand this to somebody they just do they they disconnect from you and they're just like, Oh, and they start digging uh, into what's going on. Here. Uh -huh. God's grace, that's, credit union. And um, that's clever. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm, I'm an eccentric artist with my brain, not shutting off ever. And I like it. I, I'm, I'm good for it. I'm, I'm good to use well, it. I mean, it, he, it, 
he he tells us to be um if there's a way to be a serpent serpent like and it's clever why you use that to do it as doves that's right yeah, so you you, you have to yeah you yeah, have yeah. to do that because Kevin, people's minds aren't connected yeah. as it should be yeah, yeah, we're all different. Um, be, I've mm -hmm. become all things to all men that I might by all means save some, the Apostle Paul said. Um, mm -hmm. Kevin Kevin um, Balbin's in the comments, um, the, the brother <laughs> that I brought to Christ via TikTok, and he said something I want to address. He said, and if you are ready to obey, he will immediately stop the meeting to help you get into Christ. What a beautiful yes. thing, praise God. I did recently. I had just started a sermon I was in a tent at a tent revival in West Virginia under a tent preaching. And um, uh, a brother had been working with one guy and he came up to the assembly. I just started preaching like maybe three, five minutes, something like that. He walked up and he, he, he didn't smile. He didn't, didn't wave. He walked up and went like, let's go. I was like, I'm behind the mic. And I'm like now. And he said, Yes. And I said, all right, everybody, let's go to the water. We've got a believer. He's ready to be baptized into Christ for the remission of sins. So we just stopped. And I've got that. I've got a video of it. It was. Oh, man. I mean, it was thrilling. It was just thrilling because I'm not there. Uh, make sure you send me that video, man. I, okay. I, I definitely want to see that. Now. And it well, was OK. I, I I may have to play it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm, I'm such an. Uh, well, that's good because I'm so hardcore ADHD that if I don't send it to you right now, yeah, it. definitely send me that. <laughs> All right, let me find it. I can find it. I think it's one of my shorts. The the clip. Yeah, I, it. I, yep, I found I it. Love I come love that. I love it. Right. I'm gonna today. send it to you. you email. Is that to... good? Yeah, that's that's yeah. fine. Yeah, pop it up. It's good, man. I mean, it is just straight thrilling. Um, yeah. Come on, Paul. Come on, man. I tell you, um, I I look, I look at my life before this moment yeah and i used to think i was having the time of my life yeah and looking back and i'm like man i wasn't man i was in a downward spiral and yeah. like now this is this is the time of my life because i'm I, I feel i i used to always say that i was i used to be so happy when i was a child i had a really mm -hmm. nice childhood oh. growing up in the eight the, the early 80s yeah and now it is as bad as the world is right now. Yeah. I'm still that ha I'm I'm that happy again. Oh. Being one being being married. Yeah. You know, searching following the trail that, that Jesus left. Yeah. And all I want to do, because like I said before, I'm no preacher. I wouldn't even say that I'm I'm much of a teacher, yeah. but but I'm the I'm the one that's trying to get the people and say, hey, hey, I know this guy, and he can fix everything that's messed up in your life, yeah. and his name is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Follow, come on, come on, yeah. follow this this trail. This is yeah. the way. Yep, yeah. that's right. Through the that's scriptures, right. this is the way. Let's go. Yeah. Put down whatever that is you you got. It's yeah. not important. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you, I love you, but if you don't come, mm -hmm. I gotta leave you because I'm going there. That's good. I have to. That's yeah. important to me. It is. That's beautiful. Beautiful. The peace. The peace that passes understanding. Being his, belonging to him, obeying him, seeing the wisdom in living according to his precepts. All that mm -hmm. it makes so much sense. A bunch of scriptures address that. Um, mm -hmm. He must increase, I must decrease. Um, um, your reasonable service to God. Um, I beseech you, brethren, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable for God, which is your reasonable service. So that's uh, Romans twelve one and two, I think it is. And then um, the different translations on that reasonable service. The different translations on that are potent. One of them, reasonable. I mean, reasonable, that's pretty obvious what that means, reasonable. So the mm -hmm. different translations are it's reasonable, it's logical. And then mm -hmm. my my uh, 
commentary on is that it only makes sense. And then one translation calls it intelligent. Mm -hmm. That's like living your life according to God's ways. It's intelligent. I, I'll tell you, listen, I tell you like this, this, this is the way I feel. You, as you are not a man or a woman, if you do not follow Christ, to me, you're not. Yeah. You are not intelligent yeah. unless you follow Christ. Yes. Because uh, earthly, earthly intelligence pales compa in comparison yeah. to, to, yeah. to being intelligent in Christ. Right. You know nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know nothing unless you know who your creator is. Yes. And what he yeah. put out here for us. The All that other stuff is just mumbo jumbo. <laughs> yeah. The, the longer you the longer you follow Christ, the more um obvious, I guess, apparent, just right in your face, uh his mm -hmm. the perfection of his ways, his will for our lives. If you mm -hmm. live according to his will, the longer you do it, the more you will see how the old life was just stupid. Yeah. And you see the just, people who are still living that way, and you're like, dude, <laughs> you're shooting yourself in the foot, man. Yeah. And, and you keep going, and you keep going, and it just his ways make sense. Yeah. It's yeah. like every time I fall short, I'm like, he he didn't. He never fell short. In right. This. Right. Like, yeah, this is why I need him. This is why I need him so much. So that I can overcome this and I can't overcome it without him. Right. That's right. If I lean on my own, if I think that I can do it myself. Yeah. That's foolish. <laughs> it's just stupid. Yeah. I wrote, I wrote what we're talking about into a hymn. It's called your reasonable service to God. I'm just going to read. I'm just going to quote the first verse in the chorus because it makes it's just relevant. The father uh -huh. above. The Father above has provided us with how we should be living our lives. He left us a way that's best for us. Follow him for this we should strive. Chorus, it's reasonable. It's logical. It only makes sense. It's intelligent. Your reasonable service to God. That's the first verse in the chorus of the hymn called Your Reasonable Amen. Service. Yeah. Amen. His ways are best. So um, what does the church mean to you? Wrote a song about it. <laughs> the, the, this is this is a uh, chorus as well. The church is the body. The church is the kingdom. The church is the bride of Christ. The church is the fold with our Savior, the Shepherd, and for us He paid the price. Mm. So that's that's the chorus, and every verse uh, describes each one of those points. So the church is the <laughs> body with Jesus the head, and He. Um, Mm, I've lost it. I can't remember. I've written so many. I can't even keep up. But <laughs> Jesus is the head of the body. He's the savior of the body. He's the head of the body. So the church is mm -hmm. the body. So we are his body. Um, also, uh, there are no, there is no salvation outside of the body. So there's no salvation outside of the church. The Bible mm -hmm. describes it, us as uh, living stones, uh, a house made without hands. So mm -hmm. we're, we're the body of Christ, a house made without hands, and each of us living stones. That's more, more of my lyrics that are scripture. Um, it is the kingdom with Jesus the king. It is the one kingdom. The, all these are just mm -hmm. one. One, 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 mm -hmm. one, one. Kevin one, Baldwin, one, one. Kevin, Kevin Baldwin's going to be geeking over here. He loves one, 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 one. <laughs> one makes so much sense to me. It's just so... Yeah. There's one God. Oh, yes, I'm fixated. I am just I'm 100 percent committed to that. And so it trickles down or not even trickles down. It's just the exact same thing all across mm -hmm. the board. Yep. One God, one Jesus, one Holy Spirit, one Bible, one faith. The Bible is the one source of the one truth. And there is just one church because that one train continues. Mm -hmm. so he's the one head of the one body the church. He is the one king of the one kingdom, the one church. He is the one mm -hmm. bridegroom of the one bride, the one church. So the church is where all the saved are. Uh, we are a spiritual family. We um, love each other. We bear each other's burdens, Galatians 6, 2, build each other up, edify each other, mm -hmm. uh, carry, carry each other's loads. We do physical service for each other. Oh, my, my transmission's out. Um, I need a ride to the doctor. Well, I got you. That's the kind of mm -hmm. thing. That's the church. That's what yeah. we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Kevin said, "Want to hear? Here it goes. Here it go. <laughs> <laughs> Is that from uh, so Living Color? Like it hit, might it be. I think so. Wrote a song. I think so. Like it, here it go. Yeah, here it go. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. David Allen Grill. <laughs> that's it. Now that's that's right. Yeah. 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 No, Here's a plot twist for you. Ooh, that's beautiful. So I'm actually a musician too. So oh man, all of the all of my hymns are a cappella. All of them. All of them uh -huh. are just vocals. All of them. And that's and that's about fearing God and keeping his commandments and loving him by giving him what he wants, what he actually mm -hmm. said. And we covered that in that study. I know that's in that. Study yeah. That did, yes, that. it is. And, yeah. and it, it 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 helped mold my mind and understand that, like, you know, we have a tendency as humans, the uh, the flesh. Yes. The flesh always wants to. Either. They the flesh either wants to add or cut corners mm -hmm. on the work. That's so, right. oh, what, you know, you told us to do is do it this way, but how about this? This should be yeah. good enough. Yeah. You can't come to God with that. No, you he cannot. is perfection. He is. You don't even understand what perfection is because you you can't you can't find it to 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 be it. Amen. It's God. Amen. You can't find it. You don't you don't know what it feels like. Good. You don't know what it feels like. He yeah. is perfect. So yeah. you need to do it exactly the way he said. Yep. The formula yeah. works. He doesn't need your help. Oh, <laughs> you don't need your help. Bombs. You you are dropping <laughs> truth bombs. Uh, he don't need your help. He doesn't. He, he, he doesn't already know. knows the results of this when you do it exactly the way he said. That's great. <laughs> And he knows what's gonna happen if you deviate from it, yeah. crash and burn. Yeah. And then who you, who you gonna look at then? Oh well, yeah. God, I, mm -hmm. yeah. you should have listened. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a father for you. Yes. He puts you in check. Good. And if he doesn't put you in check, you're in real trouble. Yeah. Because he because he he corrects who he loves. That's exactly right. You've been studying, yeah. bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, every day. I got. <laughs> I got a regiment. I got a regiment. I, I not a day passes now that I'm not in that Bible. Amen. I'm reading every day. It's Amen. like it's like medicine for me. I have to have it. I won't make it without it. I just I, it's nothing else is more important than that than them scriptures to me than, than God's word because it's, it's it's truly alive. And every day that I read it, something in there says something to me. And convicts me and shapes me every day. No matter what book it's in, it's something that tells me, "Hey, you know, you better get on the right track because you don't want to be like those people that were stiff-necked." Look what yeah. happened to them. Yeah, and, yes. and and guess what? You can't look at them and and look down on them because. You're doing the same thing. You're no yeah. different than the than those people that got delivered from from Egypt, yes. and, and wanted wanted to worship a golden calf. You're no different. Forget because we forget. you choose things here, you choose things on earth, and you choose them over God. You do it all the time. Yeah, you got to learn to stop doing it. Yeah, the life of repentance it has yes. to be a life of repentance. Man, That's I'm good. telling you. Good. And and oh. speaking of uh, the you know the church. What I got a quite a good one for you. What right. would you like to see in your lifetime in regards of the church? <laughs> get off the pew, get out of the four walls, stop being pew warmers, bench riders, bench warmers, pew warmers, get up, get out, and get in the fight. It is a fight, it is a spiritual yes. warfare. I'm, oh. I'm, I want I want uh, Christians to study every day and evangelize every day. Um, mm -hmm. you can do it where you are. Um, it, it, it's as you go, preach the gospel, not go mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. But as you go, as you go in your life, 
look for opportunities and take them and, and, and be bold and, and have confidence in the word of God and study so you will be ready and confident in it. I want the church to use the same system that I used with you. Just simple Bible mm -hmm. questions. The reason that study so works, helpful, it's it's so straight. The reason it works is because I'm out of the equation. It's you. It, in, in your case, it was Oscar and in the, the scriptures. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Paul it put me in there. there. Hey, look over there at that scripture. That's it. That's all it was. And so yeah. it's just simple, simple Bible questions. And anybody can do this. Kevin, who is here, Kevin Baldwin, who's here in the comments, he uh, has been using this, this system. I, you know, I brought him to Christ using these simple questions mm -hmm. and Bible answers. Um, just, just so y'all, for those who are uninitiated, it works like this. There is a, a question that is a fill in the blank question. Um, one, one, for instance, is sanctify them in the truth. Your blank is truth. Then John 17, 17 is sitting there, just the book, chapter, verse designation. Then the person doing the study opens their Bible themselves. They open it up and they read. And what they will read at that point, I'm only going to give away, I'm only going to, I'm only going to ruin one of them. What they will read is <laughs> sanctify them in the truth. Your word, your word is truth. Sanctify them in the truth. Your blank is truth. Your word. Okay. So your word is truth. Okay. And then they write that down. And then it mm -hmm. compiles and it's just Man. simple information. And, it's and, you, and you go you go back over it when yes. it's over and you just yep. see it. It's like, there hey, it, it gives you the foundation of yeah. what you need to do and, yep. and move forward. Like, yep. it's very helpful. Like I took my mom through it. Awesome. Um, I'm going to take my wife through it. Um, awesome. Like, it, it's, I, I'll, I'll give you... Um, an analogy okay. um, because we are to share this good news whenever we can. Now that's wisdom involved because yep. there's sometimes when you know, you know what? I can't say anything to this person in this situation because they're, they're, they're already belligerent. It's not going to work. You got to yeah. know that. But yeah, um, you know, when you were younger and you, and you want it, to you might have you might have seen this girl that you like and you wanted to you wanted to approach her and ask her out on a date or something and you just couldn't must up the courage to do it and you may have wanted to ask her to the to the school dance and you didn't ask her and somebody else asked her <laughs> and you missed out well that's how it should feel every time you had an opportunity to share Jesus Christ with someone, yeah, and you didn't do it yeah. when you could have. Yeah, you could have gone to the dance. You could have gone to the dance, buddy. Yep. And 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 when you share that, that's pleasing to God. Yep. And that we are here to serve Him. Yep. We are here to serve. We are here for His yep. glory, not that's our own. Yep. Yep. Fear God and keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. That's why we're on the planet. This is what that uh, system, you didn't see this. All you had was the direct questions one on one at a time. But that, yeah. that's what it looks like. Little tiny. Oh, that's there's, nice. There's, there's nothing to it. They're they're tiny and simple. Uh, and they, they can bring people to Christ uh, by simply just being organized with well, let's get this information first. Where do we get this information? Here's the book, chapter, verse information that gives the Bible answer to that spiritual question. And then one after another, after another, and it builds. Mm -hmm. I got, good. now I got, a, I got a tough question for you. All right. I don't think it's going to be tough for you. <laughs> this is, this is where, this is where I'm asking you to be transparent. All right. What do you struggle with? Um, I have a lot of naysayers, man. And, um, I have a lot of naysayers in the Lord's church and they, uh, rail against me and they backbite and they gossip against me. And, uh, I have a hard time. It makes me angry and it hurts. And, uh, I have to work through that. Um, in the past, I've had trouble with lust as a male. I think that's going to be the, the, mm, the that's, that's going to be common. 
Yeah. Um, I'm doing really good now. Of course, I'm being 53. That helps a lot. Yeah. You know, Me just too, sir. I'm going to be merciful on that. It'll, um, yeah, it'll definitely. You, you still have to watch your eyes, of course. Yeah. Um, I am, because of my ADHD brain, I am super, um, like, I love what I love. And once I get obsessed on something, I'm just going to beat it in submission. I'm going to finish producing this song. I'm going to have every uh -huh. scripture that supports it. But at the same time, like currently, at, at this exact moment, I can look out my window and I see a pile of windows that I collected probably seven years ago to make a greenhouse. And I haven't made that greenhouse. So I have. And it's trouble. eating you up, isn't it? Do what? It's eating you up, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I can see it from here and it's just, I've got, I've always got 8 billion projects going and and, uh -huh. and most of them are unfinished. Most of them. And I get Your a lot plate's done, full. Man. Like I get yeah. a lot done, but. But that's the gift of that ADHD. You can do yeah. multiple. You, you, you ever met someone that just can only do one thing? Yeah, oh yeah. Like they can't I I actually have I I feel sorry for people like that when they, when they're like that around me. I'm yeah. like, "Oh man. Yeah. You can't yeah. multitask." Yeah. I uh But it's it's a gift in that as well, time. so. <laughs> yeah, my brain oh, doesn't yeah. shut off. My brain doesn't yeah. shut off. I get a lot done, but but it is a burden at the same time. And it drives my wife crazy too, you know, because she'll ask me to do something and she'll have to ask me again and again and again. <laughs> and it's, I think, you know, I think all wives have that issue with the husband. Yeah. yeah. But I, I do have a lot of naysayers, um, people in the, the, the bench riders, the pew warmers that I was talking about, they speak uh -huh. against me. Um, I go hard, hard, hard. I rebuke error. And I, and if, if somebody like, the things I say are hard. Like there's only one church and people get upset about that. And and when I tell them uh, or rather show them in the scriptures that, that they are lost, they will attack and they yeah. get ugly. And, uh, you know, I have to work on my approach and, uh, I have a well, lot. Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, Mr. Mays, I have to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest yeah. with you. I, I've no, I've noticed this and I'll tell you this. You may not see it, God's working with you because all I've seen you do, man, you've been, you've been very poised when you, when you respond, you never seem emotional at all. You just give the, you just give the, the scripture. It's delivered properly. I, what I see on the other end is people being very sensitive and, and, and emotional and like, I don't know. It, very belligerent about it. Like my my thing is this. You know that you know that 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 that's what comes with this anyway. And I think that's what what helps you get through it. You know because if if they're not attacking you, you're not talking about anything. Oh yeah. Oh I, yeah. Man, I I I share your posts. Uh, you know, repost them. Yeah. I've I've stitched a duetted some. And I've had people get in my inbox and, and yeah. attack. They attack me for anybody that I share that's telling the truth. They yeah. attack me. And yeah. I'll tell you, I understand the way you feel because, um, what I, what I struggle with, one of my struggles is that as well is, is, is my keeping my temperament. Yeah. A lot of people see me and they're like, well, he's, he seems like a nice guy by the grace of God because <laughs> I've struggled with anger for a long time. Like, mm -hmm. um, and I'm one of those people. I'm, I'm not going to argue with you because I know how I am. I'll just be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I'm a, I'm a sore loser. Okay. I know it. And, and if I think that I'm losing, I'm going to act like a sore loser if I don't lean on Christ. Yeah. So I know myself. So it's like, I know, I know that that's, that's a weakness and God gives me strength. And, and now I take it and, and I laugh at it now. Yeah. I, I actually, I think it's, I think it's humorous when people get in my inbox or comment and say, say crazy stuff. 
because yeah. I, I make it very clear i'm not going back and forth with you on anything yeah. i'm gonna yeah. let the scriptures beat you up because the, the scriptures is undefeated yeah <laughs> they don't lose they don't ever lose that's right <laughs> scriptures speak for themselves they're not gonna lose yep. so uh one of the things that one of my million projects i have had it's it's pushing it's probably pushing a year and a half that I need to have sold this. Oh man. You a Roadmaster wagon. You're, yeah. I was about to ask that a Roadmaster. Yeah, you got it. it. It's living in the garage. I finally like, I want to, I want to get the best most I can get out of it. Uh -huh. it's, only, it's got 114,000 miles on it. Low miles. Um, yeah. That's low mile. It's tasty. Um, I got it out. I took all the pictures um, and and uh, tried to sell it on um, bring a trailer. And then uh, they said no. And then I put it on, tried to put it on uh, cars and bids, which is like mm -hmm. you know, one level down from cars uh, from bring a trailer. And they said, yes, but you, you know, you have to have better pictures. And then uh, Kevin Baldwin says the family truckster, uh, <laughs> the, they uh, said, you know, you need to have more pictures. And, and so you know, they'll, they'll send a guy out for 115 bucks or something like that. And I'm like, no, I can do that. That's what I do. So yeah, I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't, and I didn't. And then two days ago, I finally dragged it out, dusted it off and then drove it up to the rich people's house, house area. Oh yeah. Good idea. <laughs> walk, yeah. I walked around got all the pictures and videos and finally <laughs> submitted it again. That's, that's part of my struggle is just, uh, getting it, it's organization and discipline with time. Um, I'm just always wanting to work and, uh, always wanting to evangelize. Um, I can get down the rabbit trail on TikTok and just lose five hours making videos. Uh, yeah, that, man. Yeah. I, 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 I've seen you battling and, 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 you know, doing your thing, man. And yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to mention any of these people, man, but, I, yeah, there's one one guy that's been you've been battling with recently. I won't mention his name because he doesn't need yeah. to get any type of glory at, yeah. at all on this channel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it, it's just ridiculous the oh, way he's yeah, carrying yeah. himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I, I, I just can't understand it for the life of me, but yeah. Um I I'm praying that he's not reprobated, but it looks like it. Yeah. I don't know. If we're talking about um, the same one. Yeah, we are. Yeah, he's an unbeliever. Yeah. And anybody who does this is this is this is one of those offensive things that I say that really hurts people's feelings. It's a fact. It's a Bible fact. And I don't I'll quote before I'd give it, I'll just quote Jesus. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, therefore be zealous and repent. Revelation 3:19. Our perfect example said that. So if yeah. people don't believe the words of Jesus, they are not believers in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so he doesn't believe he doesn't believe the Lord's terms for salvation. And so nope, he's not a believer. Not at all. Yeah. It, we're we're gonna get we're gonna get to that. Um Good. yeah. My next question actually is um how would you encourage an on the fence believer? What are you waiting for? Like, do you want to be ready? <laughs> Jesus is coming in the clouds. Do you know that he's coming? Like, do you know when he's coming? Because he doesn't know. Not <laughs> he doesn't know. Only God knows. I don't know when he's coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I, I want to go to heaven and I want you to go on the fence believer. Mm -hmm. Um, I would convince, I would, I would urge them that I've lived on both sides of of the fence and mm -hmm. that there is no life. I wrote a song about this. The chorus says, There's no life that's worth living than the life that's lived for God. There's there's just I've lived on both sides of it, man. It's just hopeless and chaotic up and down on living away from God. And then there's just this peace. Oh, mm -hmm. I've got, you know, this health issue. Who cares? I'm going to heaven. Oh, yeah. I, I, uh, this transmission slipping on this car. I'm going to heaven. It, there's just, it's just, when you put it in perspective, it's just like when you're a Christian living for the Lord, everything is in the perspective of this is all just temporary. Can't take any of it with you. Oh, why why would you? Why would you want to? I'm not going to want to take this garbage with you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to be five foot eight, short guy. 
in in heaven, I'm not going to have, you know, a bald spot and I'm not going to have ADHD and I'm going to be in heaven and it's going to be perfect. And, and this is temporary. My beautiful Buick wagon that I loved and I'm going to sell and hopefully get some money for it. it it's just, it's going to be burned up. It's going to be burned up like everything. <laughs> I can't even take my beautiful wife with me, man. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> so if I can't take her with me, why did I, why do I care about taking anything else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not the like, flesh vessel, not the not the. No. Vessel. Yeah, but but hopefully uh, you'll take her soul, her her soul. Oh yeah, with. definitely. Yeah, but be you know, uh, won't won't be on the same terms. <laughs> yeah, it won't. Neither are they given yeah. in marriage. They yeah. Given, yeah. So it, you know, I definitely want her soul there. Mm -hmm. Um, me too, man. I don't know her, and I want her there. Listen, um, I got, I got. You kind of already answered my next question, so I'm going to move on. All right. Do you think that a large amount of preachers don't preach against sin because they don't truly believe what is written? No, I think they want the, I think they want a 20, 24 F-150. <laughs> I think that's why they do it. Yeah. I think that's it. I think that they want money. Yeah. They fill their belly. The Bible talks about that. They want to fill their belly. The devil's so they, in the details. <laughs> they, they they just teach the easy believism. Don't step on my toes. Don't tell me I have to stop sinning. Don't tell me I have to stop living in adultery. Don't tell me I have to stop being uh, intoxicated. Mm -hmm. Instead, just make me feel good in my sin, and I'll keep paying you. And they're like, okay, because I've been part of an experiment. I can okay. I can repost a video clip of a pastor that's talking about the love side of things. Yeah. Speaking gingerly. Yeah. And I'll get a ton of likes yeah. and, and things like that for that. But as soon as I post a, a post something with a preacher that's actually preaching against sin, yeah, and wickedness, Oh yeah, that's when it, that's when everybody comes in. Oh, this guy's a false prophet. Why are you following him? Why are you listening? To him? This is wrong. This is heresy. It. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, Kevin. I mean, Kevin, get <laughs> Kevin Honeycutt's with us and says bingo. I think to that the money, the money grubbers, the ones. Yeah, the you know it I is. Get, I get this little. I like the amount of views that I get on TikTok. This little scrap of nothing. Because mm -hmm. I stay busy in the kingdom. All I want to do is bring souls to the cross. That's it. I, I want to go to heaven and help as many people as I go uh, as I can to get there too. So mm -hmm. I, if I get 40 and 50 and maybe 200 views on some of these videos, but it's constant. In yeah, fact, it, it doesn't oh, matter because guess what? The Lord gives the increase. That's it. I wrote that into a song too. It goes, <laughs> I will do the planting, you provide the water. God gives the increase. God will be approving if we provide the labor. Growth always comes from the Lord. It's course. Right on. Amen. Yeah, he gets the glory. <laughs> he gets the glory. You just keep doing yes, it. Sir. And I'm telling you forever, this is my numbers. For about every hundred naysayers, I've got one that's like, I didn't know that. And he's honest. Like uh -huh. One of them's here with us. Kevin mm -hmm. Baldwin is here with us. Like he's here with us. He's one of the people that was like, I did not know that. <laughs> and Amen. he was like, let me see. He, and he's, he's one of the people that his preacher was teaching the easy believism. You don't have to do anything. He teach all oh, it's that. Uh -huh. alone. Yeah. And, and then he's like, yeah. and the beauty, let me tell you what the beauty about that conversion the first thing that this Christian, Kevin Baldwin, wanted to do, save his false teacher preacher. His, his preacher was teaching error. He wanted him to know. And he's thinking, well, surely, well, well, surely once he sees it, he'll repent of teaching that and start teaching the doctrine of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'll come. Yes, I can come. And I'm thinking, Kevin, he's he's not going to do it. He's just going to dig in his heels, and he's going to say no, and he's going to keep teaching the fables that he teaches. He's got a four hundred thousand dollar house because of this. He's not giving that up. He's wanting yep. that. He's not going to turn that around. And that's what happens. Wants that money. That's what and, they and, want. 
and Kevin decided to love the Lord rather than the errors that he has had been. Hallelujah. Taught. Hallelujah, yeah. Kevin. Yep. Right on, man. Right That's on. A blessing to me. Kevin. All right. So now we now we're about to get to the meat to the meat and potatoes, man. Let's yes, do sir. it. You are an advocate for Acts 238. Amen. Why do you think so many self-proclaimed Christians are so rebellious towards what is commanded in that verse? So first, let's quote it. Then Peter said, let's get the context. Hey, hey, hold on. I got you. Watch this. <laughs> Go. Yeah. Man, I love it. I love it. <laughs> there it is. Scrolling at the bottom. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I did. Now I see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Repent and be baptized. I stay repent. Good. Good job, man. Good job. Yes. Peter said, unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one. Every of one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That means by his authority, because Jesus said so, for mm -hmm. the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Holy Ghost. Acts two thirty eight. It's the first gospel sermon. That was fifty three days after Jesus was nailed to the cross, and that goes right along with what he said before leaving. So Mark sixteen mm -hmm. fifteen, go preach the gospel to the whole world. This is where they did it for the first time. He that believes and is baptized will be saved. He that disbelieves will be condemned. Then Mark 16, 19, he ascended and sits at the right hand of the Father. Then this Acts two thirty eight was the first time that the gospel was preached and they preached exactly what he told them to preach baptism for the remission of sins. That's what he, they started I, preaching there. And, and that was prophesied to happen in, in, in Luke. It was like uh, repentance and remission of sins will be preached starting in Jerusalem. Well, at Acts two thirty eight, that's when that happened. So the context is Acts two thirty six. you people killed Jesus, Acts two thirty seven. What do we do about that? Acts two thirty eight. repent and be baptized. Every one of you immersed every one of you, because Jesus said so, for the purpose of getting the remission of sins through his blood. And I'm so, wondering, why do they, why are they so against it? Because this is, this is what I like to ask those guys. Are you, are you water baptized? Mm -hmm. And if, if you are, because I actually believe some of them are, I think yeah. they're water baptized. Okay. So why did you get water baptized? And why would you try to tell someone else that they don't have to? Yeah. What's the point in you getting it done? That's right. So what they'll tell you, the vast majority of people will tell you that it is an outward display of an inward change. I love that you're shaking your head at it. It's Shake a command. It. It's, yeah. it's a command. Well, here's the thing about that. <laughs> they don't even realize that they just accurately described repentance. Watch this. Outward display. So repentance is a change of mind that can only be evidenced by a change of behavior. If you haven't changed your mind, your behavior, you haven't changed your mind. So the outward yes. display, the change of behavior is evidenced because of the change of mind. So that's the outward display of the inward change. You changed. That's repentance. That's not baptism. Yes. Yeah, that's not baptism, man. It's not. Mm -mm. So they, no. they, I, I submit that the main reason in my experience, and I have a lot of it, is pride. They cannot yeah. accept the fact that they have been lied to, that they've bought the lie. And so it hurts their feelings too much to admit that they've been lied to and successfully deceived by that lie. So they just dig in their heels and they make every excuse in the book. I'm trying to figure out what, what, what's the, what is like, let's, let's, let's use logic here. Amen. Let's not, let's try to use logic. Okay, so if going down in water is just an outward expression, so you, so these people are saying that it's not necessary. So you you telling me you that you're saying that people are going out there and just getting wet for nothing? Yeah, that's that's, well, that's what. The, what yeah. don't you think that'd be a waste of time? Yeah. Yeah, because if if it's just an outward expression, what if what if I see a homeless guy and I buy him a sandwich? That's an outward expression. Yeah. So why get baptized? Yeah. It, what's this, what's so? 
<laughs> okay, now if it's an outward expression, what what actually did more? Me giving that homeless guy a sandwich or me just going to get wet? Yeah. 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 So th that uh, that lets you know that water baptism is commanded. Yes, it it's is. not about an outward expression. No, people made that up. It's called obedience. Amen. And if you if you obey God, that means you love him. That's a fact. If you love yeah. him, he will and he like wants him. you to show him. He already knows, but yeah. that's how you show him by obeying him. Yeah, that's exactly right. Actions yeah. speak louder than words. You that's can say all day how you love God, but if you don't if you don't show it yeah. by doing what's commanded to you, yep. you don't love God. You love exactly. the idea. That's right. They want yeah. him to be their savior, but not their Lord. That's yeah. Save yeah. me, but I don't want to have to do. I'm not going to do what you said. But thank you for cre thank you for making all the creation yeah. and me and, and the people I you know I care about. But uh, I oh, mean, I'm just not. I just can't do what you're asking of me. Yeah. I I, I mean, thanks, but uh, you know, that's cool. I I didn't ask to be here. Please. Yeah. So that if uh, you had a choice. <laughs> yeah. So that's John 14, 15, John 15, 14, and 1 John 2, 3, and 4. So that's, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, John 14, 15. You can know you're my friends if you do whatever I tell you, John 15, 14, and mm -hmm. 1 John 2, 3, and 4. Hereby we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. The one who says he knows him, but he doesn't obey him, he's a liar. Truth's not mm -hmm. in him. That's, that's potent. Right. That's potent. So if 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 it's just an outward display of an inward change, why did the Ethiopian uh, stop the chariot in the middle of the desert and get baptized immediately? Acts chapter eight. Yeah, why? And if it's just what an outward display of an inward change, why did the why did the jailer and his family why were they baptized straightway at the same hour of the night at midnight? Why didn't they wait until the next day when they can gather all their uh, jailer buddies, all those other Romans guards, and hey, come on, we're having I got saved last <laughs> night. Now, yeah, yeah. Another thing, this is a, this is a great one. So Jesus says, "Follow him." Correct. Yes. Do what he did. Correct. That's right. He got baptized. Why That's wouldn't right. you? That's he right. did. And, and and guess what? He didn't get baptized for the same exact reason we have. He did it to show us. He did it as an example. Mm -hmm. He was without sin. That's he right. didn't need remission That's for right. sins. That's right. We do. Yeah. We must do what he did. That's right. The, uh, <laughs> the account tells us that he was baptized to fulfill all righteousness. Yes. John was like, yes. John was like, you need me to baptize? You need to baptize me. You're asking me to baptize <laughs> you? He's like, we need to do this to fulfill all righteousness, Jesus told him. And then he su suffered him and baptized him. That's why Jesus Yes. But we have to so do it. So why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> yes. We have to do it, however, to get the remission of sins through his blood. So sometimes, yes. people, sometimes people will say, oh, it's not for the remission of sins, like you're going to get the remission of sins. It's because of, because like you would say, I'm going to the, I'm taking, um, I'm taking an aspirin for my headache. And that's because I have a headache. That's, that's one common objection. I get, I get a lot. I get all <laughs> the objections, all of them. So they'll say, Oh, it's, it's because of, and so what you do is you just take them straight to Matthew 26, 28, because it's the exact same Greek in both places. Jesus' uh -huh. blood was shed for the remission of sins. Baptism, repentance, and baptism are for the remission of sins, and they are together. Those those two scriptures are together. And it's the, the so Greek, many that Greek is the yes. same in both places. It, it's untrue. when he had to talk with Nicodemus. Yeah, John three. <laughs> he must be born again. Yeah, he asked, "How can I go back as a, as an adult? Go back? No, you must be born again of water." Yeah, that's right. That's right. He, um, he still needed to be born again of the water. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um. When 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 Jesus after he was crucified and the soldier pierced his side, what came out? Blood, Blood and, water. and water. Yeah. How many? Um. Noah's in in the days of Noah, yep. he was saved by water. water. First Peter. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> he says not only did he say eight souls were saved by water, he followed by saying and just. Like that, baptism now saves you. I mean, he just said it. 
Exactly. Well, I don't understand it. It's just, it perplexes me. Listen, <laughs> listen to this. Listen to Kevin, Kevin Baldwin's comment. Um, a lot of it is who is doing the teaching. They don't want to be mm -hmm. showed error from someone who has learned in six months what they haven't learned in 60 years. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely true. But listen to this. Mm -hmm. Same reason you told me no when I asked you to baptize me. Why take the risk? So Kevin lives in South Carolina. I live in Virginia. And I had taught Kevin. And Kevin was ready to be baptized. And he's like, can I come up there? I was like, dude, no. It doesn't matter who baptizes you. You need to be baptized. The, the baptizer means absolutely nothing. You need the blood of Christ to forgive your sins, and that happens when you're baptized. So I told Kevin no to that. He liked it. He, he still talks about that. He liked that. Mm -hmm. This is definitely not about me. And, and we learned that it's not about the baptizer in 1 Corinthians 1, 10 through 17. Um, now I beseech you, brother. Nope. Yes, now I beseech you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, that there be no mm -hmm. divisions among you, but that you all mm -hmm. be perfectly joined together in the same mind and the same judgment. And then he said, and this is my um, commentary, some of you are saying, I'm an Apostle Paul kind of Christian. Some of you are saying, I'm a Paul kind of Christian. I'm an Apollos kind of Christian. I'm a Cephas kind of Christian. I'm a Christ kind of Christian. So what it actually says is some of you are saying, I'm of Paul, I'm of Apollos, I'm of Cephas, or, I, or I'm of Christ. And then he says, is Christ divided? And that's a rhetorical question because Christ is not divided. So there's a bad mm -hmm. problem there. These people were trying to be divided. Religious division is against Christ. It hurts Jesus. It is. Denominations hurt Jesus. It does. It he, didn't tell, he didn't tell you to be in there. That. That's right. It's not in there. It's no. not. If it's not in scripture. Yes. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's, it's a waste of time. Yeah. So then he goes on to say, um, I baptized Crispus and Gaius in the house of Stephanus, and I'm not sure who else I baptized. And I'm glad I didn't baptize more, lest any should say that they had been baptized in my own name. Mm -hmm. so, so the apostle Paul didn't even want you to be concerned with who was doing the baptizing. He didn't mm -hmm. want you to be an apostle Paul kind of Christian. And I've used that um, in a uh, meeting I put a big image up on the wall. Maybe I can find it. Um, I put a big image up on the screen in one of my meetings, and it was, um, oh, that's not going to do. I'm not going to try to dig for it. Uh, it's an image that says uh, Christian or Christ across the whole screen. There's a giant image of the word Christian stretched across the screen like that, whatever. And um, mm -hmm. then there's a check mark after it, a green check. And then there's a bunch of names all over the screen that strip the glory from Jesus, like Baptist, Methodist, Catholic, Wesleyan, Lutheran, Pentecostal, Presbyterian, all of these man-made like a buffet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just pick which one. Hell, you yeah. can take a little bit from here and yeah. you can take a little. No. Yeah. And there's an X, X and there's an X after every one of those names because they don't exist by Jesus didn't tell us to do that. So you have nope. no authority to do it. Now, and I'll point back to Colossians 3.17. Whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks through him to God the Father. If, mm -hmm. if we cannot read book, chapter, verse, the authority for being called something, it's not by the authority of Jesus. We don't have authority to do that. Mm -hmm. So I put that on the screen, and uh, at the end of the message I would preached, I sat down, I was like, Y'all, you need to get out there and invite everybody you know. Tell them whatever it takes within the confines of sound doctrine to get them to come into the building. Just tell them this old hillbilly from Virginia and overalls has been free. <laughs> you got to come see this guy. You wouldn't believe it. And this woman was on the front row, and she piped up, and she said, what do I do when I tell them? How do I tell them that you say that Wesleyans aren't Christians? Because that name was up on the screen. And she spoke up. Yeah, it was intense. And I said, yeah, I'm going to imagine said, talk about it. And I said, we can talk about that. And so I pulled her to the side afterwards. We're step, we just stepped aside right there in the middle of the, of the building. And we're talking. And I said, do you see that Paul did not want you to be a, an apostle Paul kind of Christian right there? Yeah, I can see that. I said, would you like to be a Paul Mays kind of Christian? I totally threw myself under the bus. I knew she had a negative feeling towards me. So I utilized mm -hmm. it. I utilized it. I was like, she was like, yeah. oh, 
I'm like, that's exactly right. Now, if the Apostle Paul, who was divinely inspired by God, didn't want you to be an Apostle Paul kind of Christian, and you wouldn't dream of wanting to be an, a Paul Mays kind of Christian. I'm just this man from Virginia. I mean, I'm, I'm here living in front of you. I'm just nothing. I'm just a man, right? Well, Wesley was just a man. He wasn't inspired. He was just another man. Why would you want to be a Wesley kind of Christian? And she got it. And you know what that woman is today? Christian. Right on. Amen. She's, not, she's no longer a Wesleyan. She, That's she stopped, what I'm talking about. Yeah. She stopped stripping glory from Jesus and handing it over to that fallible man named Wesley. I'm not saying he was an awful person. I'm just saying he's just another. But yeah, you man. can't take. It's a perversion of it's a prefer, perversion of scripture. It's a oh, perversion yeah. of the faith. Yeah. It's a perversion of the church. Yeah. You're, so you you you're. you're in a separate church than yes. the church. There's only one church. Fact. So when you go to these denominations, you're yep. doing something different. Yep. You th this is you're in danger because yep. you're under someone that is teaching a separate gospel. Yes. And let them be accursed. Galatians one six through nine. It is know. very dangerous. Yes. You, uh, Spiritually deadly. As a matter of fact, I, I'll show I'll show you guys. Uh, this is, this is what happens when you, when you add or take away from scripture. What do you think you're doing? What have you done? Do you know what you just did? Huh? I'll tell you what you just did. You just, in a very simple common term, made the mistake of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's appropriate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. You made the mistake of a lifetime. Yeah. You better that. repent. You yeah. better come back. Come yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it is against Christ to be divided. We know this from that 1 Corinthians 1 10 through 17 passage. And then we also know it from Ephesians 4 4 through 6. One Lord, one faith, one baptism is right in the middle of that. One God and Father above all, through you all, and in you all. One spirit, uh, one faith, one, 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 one. And then also. Mm -hmm. The most potent, um, I'm frozen. The most potent, um, the most potent scripture that promotes unity and exposes the error of being divided is John 17, 20 through 23. It's Jesus praying. And he prays. Mm -hmm. He says, Neither pray I for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word that we all may be, that they all may be made perfect in one, that they all may be one father as you and I are one mm -hmm. just so that the world may know that they may be made perfect in one so that the world will know that you love them and that you sent me. So Jesus wants us to be one, just like he's one he, with God. He wants us all to be one. And he tells us the result of that. If we are one, the world will know that God loves us and that God sent Jesus. So because denominations exist, the world doesn't know that God loves us and that God sent Jesus. People just doubt, oh, that's what you believe. That's you have your way and I have oh many paths, one destination. Yeah, I've been there before. Well, oh, it 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 you have your way and I have no, yeah. it doesn't work that way. That's a fact. <laughs> that's so a fact. so what you're doing is you 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 control you think you can control God. That's it. Oh yeah. There's so you're you you're body. building a you're building your own God. You don't realize yeah. that's yeah. idolatry. Yeah. You, build that's exactly own, you, you build a false god. Yes, that you is build exactly. a you you build a God that doesn't stand on His word. Right. And God stands on His word. Yeah, that is idolatry. Denominationalism is idolatry. Absolutely, of yes. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Religious division is antichrist. All of it. All of it. So I got I got a um, question here. What do you think the difference is between a non-believer and another one in the faith that may have a different perspective or interpretation of scripture that may be contrary to yours? And is the end result the same if there is no common ground found? So okay. for instance, if you you you're dealing with a non-believer. Okay. And you know what he says that if they refuse, dust yeah. your feet off. Yes. But what about a believer? What about a believer that just made 
interpret something different than you? Well, it depends on what the subject is. You know, mm -hmm. it really does. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it a is it a salvation issue? If if it's yeah, yeah. If if it's uh, if it's how we're like what worship, we were just talking about. Yeah, yeah salvation. <laughs> if it's if it's about how we are to worship. Uh, any of those things, um, salvation or how the church is to be organized, uh, mm -hmm. all, all these things are salvation. Is, is, if it's like, I, I want to meet at, at 10 a.m. and 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 I want to meet at 10 and 11 and 2 p.m. rather than 10 and 11 and 5 p.m. If if we're going to, you know, butt heads about that, oh, I'll back right all the way off. Yeah. Back. That's not a salvation issue. Mm -hmm. it's, if we're on, we we must study through subjects until we obey the command to speak the same thing. First Corinthians one ten. Okay. If, on, on subjects that are uh, not up for debate. So uh, no prophecy of scripture is of any private interpretation. We, God says what mm -hmm. he means. He says what mm -hmm. he means and he means what he says. And we can understand the Bible alike. We absolutely can because yeah. we're commanded. Because we're commanded to, we we can know he, God does not command us to do things we can't do. If He's commanded us to uh, agree, we can agree. Do you think that, like, sometimes, like, if a person, let's say, if I read something and and I I don't understand it the way that you do, do you think that's the reason why iron sharpens iron? Because we can work it out. Yeah, but yeah. I, but I have to be open minded and not be. Yeah, because for for me, honestly, I tell you. Like I said, I'm 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 fresh and I understand that I'm going to sometimes I may not understand something and it may not be for me to understand right now because God works it out the way he sees fit. Yeah. Like I can read something today and not understand it and then yeah. come back to it two weeks from now and it's crystal clear and it's like, yeah, yes. oh. Yes, guarantee it. Yeah, it happens with me all the time. Like you read the same scripture you've read 312 times. And on the 313th time, you're like, how mm -hmm. did I not see that? It was sick. So I right guess it's kind of, do, do you think it's like a pride thing with 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 us sometimes when a yeah. person, for instance, you could tell me something and I may not believe it. Yeah. I may be reading it different, but I should be, both of us should be more than willing to you know, kind of be open minded about it and mm -hmm. and and like allow the scripture, allow God to work it out between yeah. us. Even if we say, hey, hey, brother, I, I don't really get let me let me take some time. Yeah. read. Let me let me meditate. Let me pray on it. Yeah. And then then we'll talk about this in a week. Let that's me let me see what God should. I you know, I, I I think that that's the way it should be handled because I don't want to be at war with my brother. Right. Because it. What if it what if it is that I'm just wrong and I and I and, and yeah. I, I have to be open to the understanding and then I get it because it's kind of hard when you battle with a person and then you got to turn around one day and find out that maybe you were wrong. Yeah. And now you got to come back. Yeah. It would be better to just handle it in, in decency. Yeah. From from the beginning. Yeah. 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 OK. Yeah. We, we need to be we need to be uh, tender with each other. Um, mm -hmm. hang on. I got it. Tender hearted. Come on. Oh, I lost it. I tell you what, I cannot stand it when I cannot remember a scripture. It, Man, it I'm all, trying to get to the all. point where I can remember it like that. I I'm just, ah, but it's so not going to happen that fast. So be kind to one another, be tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ Jesus forgives you. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, I got it. But I don't have the book tra chapter verse designation. That drives me crazy too. I cannot. Now this is my this is my jackpot question. Okay. What advice would you give a believer to handle being challenged by others on their belief? How can they be better at defending the faith? It's got to be book chapter verse every single time. Don't ever give your mm -hmm. opinion. Always mm -hmm. go to the scriptures. If you do not mm -hmm. have the answer. Tell them I'll come back with it. If, mm -hmm. if you, if you, you're, I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll study that and get back to you. Um, mm -hmm. Always give the book chapter verse answer and make sure that that they know that that is um, how God speaks to us. And I'm not mm -hmm. going to tell you what I think or I feel or my opinion because I don't have any authority. 
God mm-hmm. has given us all uh, things that pertain to life and godliness. Second Peter one, three, every spiritual question has a Bible answer. And if I don't mm-hmm. know it, I'll get it. I'll dig it up and I'll get back to you and, and ask your, you know, ask your wiser brethren, like somebody might have more knowledge on a certain subject mm-hmm. like the children of Israel. And I'll be like, I need to go to that guy for the children of Israel. Oh, this guy, man, he has studied in, in uh, mm-hmm. Abraham and, and he'll show me in the Bible, the answer to the spiritual question. So, and that's why we're up. supposed to be in fellowship, you know, oh, that's yeah. part of it. Yes, sir. Amen to that. Absolutely. Kevin Baldwin says, if we don't obey, we will learn about the one hell. Yeah, because it's one of those. And boy, it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it, it won't company. It wants company. Yeah, that's what Satan and, wants. And there's plenty of room, too. Yep. That's what Satan wants. I don't want that. Mm-mm, I don't either. <laughs> so that's uh, Hebrews 5, 9 says, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Second Thessalonians 1, 7, 8, 1, 7 through 9, verse 8 specifically says it's flaming fire and the vengeance of God for those who do not know God and the ones who do not obey the gospel. Anybody who doesn't uh, obey the gospel, that's what they can expect. Man, listen, it, it's like it's like um, I see Satan's role in this. Like you got you got this building, you have an apartment building and you've got. 10 floors. Yeah. And Satan lives on the on the bottom floor. Huh. But Satan Satan got got an eviction notice. Okay? And he knows that he's got to be out. He knows that he's out. Okay? So, he knows that he doesn't have a home in here anymore. Yeah. The rest of the people they 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 paid their rent. But instead of him just gracefully leaving, he sets his apartment on fire and doesn't tell anyone. Mm. So the people at the top floor, how are they going to get out? The mm. bottom of the building is on fire. Mm. No one's going to. Su- he doesn't want anyone to survive. And no. only, guess what? The only way that they survive is by the grace of God. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Man, it, he's such a low down, dirty something. The roar because he knows he knows he's he knows that hell is for him. Yeah, he knows there's no way out of this. He's doomed. Yeah, he's so prideful until he's like, I'm gonna take as many of these people as I can with me. <laughs> I'm gonna deceive them. I'm gonna deceive this world. And I know a lot of them are so weak and they so yeah. they so oh, yeah. fixed on on their fleshly desires yeah. and they don't understand yeah. that it's gonna put them on a downward spiral straight to hell with me. That's yeah. him. Yeah, he loves. He doesn't want to see us doing it. Oh yeah, he, he loves, loves it. He loves. He loves, he loves confusion. Yes, he's the author of it. He's the author of it. So we've hit on we've hit on my hymns over and over and over again. Just now, um, <laughs> I have a song called um, "The Way, the Truth, and the Life," and it says the first verse starts, "I was lost and living a selfish life, like many I served my fleshly desires." My soul mm-hmm. needed rescue of sin. I was tired. I'm grateful I read that the Lord said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Man. And then uh, I wrote another one that says, uh, God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. That's another one of my songs. Yeah. Yeah, he loves it. Oh, he loves that religious division. Oh, he loves it. Eats it up. He loves easy believism. He loves the people. Oh, yeah. He loves that people believe. Here's some things that Satan loves. Faith alone, invite mm-hmm. Jesus into your heart, accept Jesus as your personal savior. I want to be saved by the sinner's prayer, and I want to be saved like the thief on the cross. Oh, he loves all that mess. Yeah, it, you know what? When you think about when the term personal savior, yeah, do you realize how selfish that is? Yeah. <laughs> So my personal, so you don't care about your brothers and sisters. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you don't care that it's all of our savior. Yeah. No, no, he, he's not your personal savior. He's not your genie. Yeah. He doesn't grant you wishes. What is wrong yeah. with you? This Good. ain't Aladdin. Amen. Wow. He's the savior of the world. Not your personal savior. Oh, oh, he's my God and I can call on. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It, we, we're in this together. 
whether you like it or not. That's good, That's good stuff. That's good. good. Yeah, man, I, I'm learning, man. I'm learning every day. I'm learning from my brothers. I'm learning from and listen. We better. I, I love it. It's the best thing. It's the best thing going, man. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Our God. That's Amen. right. Amen, Kevin. That's right. You I can't you can't man. customize God. That's right. <laughs> how you gonna try to how you gonna try to customize the one that created and designed all? Back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. That's, that's the pottery trying to design the potter. Good job. <laughs> what? Very good. What? Good, good Oscar. Good. <laughs> good yeah, where, man. Where do you worship? Actually, I tell you, I went in when I after I got baptized as a church up the street, but my wife is a, um, a mail carrier and she's getting ready to go full time to where we can take off. Well, well, we'll have the day to go to go to church. But since okay. then, I've been churching here at home. OK, that's what I've been doing. I st okay. stay in the Bible and I, you know, I, I do church over the Internet. OK, do what I well, can. I would like to find I'm part of my work is finding the local assembly. Um, Kevin mm -hmm. of that one church, the one church of the Bible, Kevin mm -hmm. Baldwin, who's here with us. Um, I actually drove down there with the intent to try to bring his pastor to the uh, to the truth. <laughs> so he would become a Christian and not be a uh, uh, Presbyterian, but a, become a Christian instead. And uh, I came down there with the intent of doing that, and and the guy backed out. He wouldn't even meet with us, with me. And uh, yeah, they usually up, back out and stuff yeah, like that. He can't, <laughs> he can't defend what he teaches. He 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 saw that, he saw that I was you know, going to expose his fables. So mm -hmm. That's Ephesians five eleven and Second Timothy four two and four two through four. <laughs> so I went down there, and I I had called. I had already called the local assembly down there of the Lord's church. I mean, the one church that belongs to Christ, the ones that abide in the doctrine of Christ, the ones that are worshiping him the way he said to worship, the ones that teach his terms for salvation, the one mm -hmm. body that is um, organized the way the one body in the church in the Bible is, is organized. I've called down there. I found a man and I talked to him. He was, he's blind and he's like 65 and dude is a blessing. Amazing. Blessing. <laughs> Had a wonderful, wonderful fellowship with him on the phone and ended up, I got to go down there and, and uh, I actually got to preach down there at that, that local building. But I put Kevin, I hand delivered him to the local body so he could be with that one church. So yeah. um, Hebrews 10, 25 um, and 23. Um, when we meet, we stir each other up to love and good works. I think that's the mm -hmm. first 24. And then 25 says, don't forsake the assembling like some folks do, but instead keep assembling um, all the more as you see the day approaching. Some, don't forsake the assembly as the banner is of a sum. Hmm, I'm messing it up. I got to get it exactly. Let me get it. So cancel. Take your time. Colossians, Hebrews, Hebrews 10, 25. I'm going to start in 24. Um, and let us consider one another in order to stir up love and good works. Don't forsake, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is the manner of some, but exhorting mm -hmm. one another. And so much more as you see the day approaching. Uh, for if we sin willfully, verse 26, after we receive the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, Verse 27, but a certain fearful expectation of judgment and fiery indignation, which will devour the adversaries. We need to meet. We need to always meet with the one church of the Bible, not forsake. When we meet, I encourage you, you encourage me, and we lay by in store as we've been commanded mm -hmm. on the first day of the week. We get to worship and edify each mm -hmm. other as we worship. We sing, teach, admonish. We teach each other while we're singing. And we remember the death of the Savior with the unleavened bread and the fruit of the vine on the regular. So part of mm -hmm. my work, a big part of my work, very time consuming, uh, enjoyable, very time consuming mm -hmm. and enjoyable is I uh, when I get somebody in generally now these days, it's generally somebody in TikTok. I get their attention and they're not one of the pearl trampling time wasters. 
and that, and I get them in messaging and I say, Hey, just give me your city and state. They give me the city and state. And I'm like, bring, bring. No, first I, I do my research. I've got several resources and I'll, I'll know the church in the area. Uh, eventually I'll figure it out. And maybe I've been there. Maybe I know somebody who knows somebody, but I'll find the church that abides in the doctrine of Christ. I say mm -hmm. that forcefully. That's the difference. You can either be a denomination that makes it up as you go, or you can be the one body of Christ, bride of Christ, kingdom, sheepfold of Christ, the one church that belongs to Christ, and it's abiding in the doctrine of Christ that determines whether we are that church or just a denomination. I'm good at it, man. I, I can call them up, and I look for uh, truth uh, teachers, soul winners, and I put them together with the truth seekers, but then I also test them to make sure that they teach the truth about that one church and uh, they worship the way God says to worship and, and put them together. I'd like to see you worshiping. I, you know, I'm blunt, man. I just go for it. I want yeah. you to assemble with the one church that belongs to Christ where you are. Oh, yeah, de definitely. Definitely. No doubt. Good. If if uh, I know you're in Maryland and uh, you met, if you'll message me where you are, I'll I'll dig it up. I'll make phone calls personally. OK, and I'll find it. I've been to I've been to Maryland and I've worshipped with the church there. It's been a long time. It's been so long. I was on a car deal. I love cars. I was on a car deal. I was delivering a car, I think. I know I had my two daughters with me, and they were little. Uh, I had bought the car, and I was flipping it. I had bought it for an individual who wanted me to find one for them, and the gas gauge wasn't accurate. And it was down to like a sixteenth of a tank. It was over full. You know, I'm sorry. It was it was over empty. It was still above empty. It ran out of gas. And I ended up calling the local church and they came and bailed mm -hmm. me out, took me to the assembly. Oh, man. Gas. It was awesome. They wouldn't take money for it. I was like, let me pay for the gas. <laughs> like, oh, man. And then I assembled with them there at the church there. That was good. That was really a, a sweet memory. But that's probably been 10, probably about 10 years. I don't even know where I was. I got um, Monique. Monique? Yeah. Um, yeah. I see make it. sure that you message us because she yeah. would like to find a church where yeah. she is. But Put my uh, email address up there, the please okay. at gmail.com. Yeah. If you'll just type it up, put it on the screen. Uh, Monique, right, I, would be, I would be very happy. It would, it would, it would satisfy me deeply to put you with the one church of the Bible. Let's see. What's the email address again? It's the word the T H E. And then uh -huh. pleased, like pleased to meet you. The Is please T O uh T H E P L E A. No, I'm saying please to meet you. It's not the number two, it's the actual word. I'm sorry. To meet it, you. It, it's just the word pleased. I, uh -huh. I was just I was just clarifying. So it's it's just the please. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the please at gmail.com. Okay. Yeah, the pleased at gmail.com. Yeah, put that up there. Monique, it would be a privilege to do that. I'm good at it. I'm I'm good at I'm a people person and I get on the phone and I'm and I'll I'll I frisk them. You know, I give them a hard time, you know, I play with them and then I dig out uh there's some lazy people out there, some Christians that are just bench warmers and they're not willing to, you know, go for it. And I'm not looking, yeah. for, them. I'm looking for the ones that you have a hot contact? You mean they're ready to study? Oh, <laughs> I'll meet them at the coffee house or my house or their house or the church building. Which is it? That's what I always look for. I look for somebody who's just ready to go. And uh, I look until I find them. I found people in um, uh, recently in Ohio. There was salvation as the result. And in where was that? Michigan? No, Minnesota. I can't remember. I do it. OK, all Jade. Jade. Jade, the. Uh... Email Send me. the email down here, scrolling yep. at the bottom. The yep. please that gmail.com. Yeah, write it down, email me. <clears throat> I'll be looking for them and um, we can start. Uh, I can I can put you with the local body of Christ where you are. I, I'm good at finding. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm all for it. I'm all for that that straight scripture teaching. Yes. I don't yep. want I don't want Sound you know, awesome. you got a lot of preachers that they never even open their Bible when they're, when they're supposedly preaching. And I'm like, hold on, brother. <laughs> your, your Bible's never open. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not having people to follow you, follow you in scripture when you're speaking. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. I tell people, do not believe me, test me. I'm just a man. And even if I love the truth and I have a, a thousand percent intent to teach the truth, I might mess up. I've misspoken and, and quoted the wrong scripture. I've said things that were not true before and people are supposed to test me. I mean, that's your... Yes, you got to check check the scriptures. Yeah, every day. So you got, uh, that's 1 John 4, 1 and Acts 17, 11 and 2 Timothy 2, 15. So 1 John 4, 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try or test the spirits, whether they are from God, for there's many false prophets gone out into the world. Then you got Acts 17, 11, the Bereans were more noble than those at Thessalonica in that they searched the scriptures daily daily to see if what they were being taught was the truth. That is crucial. And then you got 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Are you frozen? No, you're oh, not. Oh, no. I'm completely still, I'm man. You were like a statue. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I thought maybe <laughs> you were locked up. Oh, no, no, no. Internet. I'm locked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking at my spam filter, see if anybody. Man, I, I I love this, man. Amen. Uh, Mr. I'm Mays, I I um this is this has been great, man. Um, uh, I'm hoping I can have you on again, man, when you have yeah. the time. I'd love yeah. to have you back. I would love and, to. You know, I would be. Yeah. I'd, I would like to do um uh one of my sermons in song. I would I would love to do that. Just you know, once we can twice. set that up. We yeah, can set that up and we'll, and we'll, you know, we'll get a, you know, this is my first, my first, uh, okay. show here, but okay. we'll, 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 we'll promote it and, and try to get, you know, a good, good amount of people that want to hear the truth yep. because that's what it's all about. I'd rather have people that's actually searching for the truth than yep. just have a bunch of people in here that's going to be trolling and all that. Cause, uh, you know, the trolls don't live long in here anyway, cause I get you out of here. <laughs> yeah, there's a biblical precedent for that, man. There's a biblical precedent for that. So a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition, reject. Titus 3. Yeah, yeah we're supposed to cut yep. them off. They're pearl yep. tramps and time wasters. They prevent us from mm -hmm. getting to the fertile soil. Yep, that's what I was saying the other day. Um, you know, I tell them, like, don't be in here um, discouraging the people in the comments. Like, you're yeah. wasting time. These people are oh, trying yeah. to learn. Yeah, they want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear that garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me play. Can I play a, a verse in a chorus oh, of one? Of, of course, songs? you yeah. go right on ahead. <laughs> this is the way, the truth, and the life, and it's one I wrote, and it's that 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 lyric that I quoted just a minute ago. I was lost, so I'll just play just the verse in the chorus, and that'll be like a a teaser for what what one of my sermons and song looks like. Well, what I'll do is I'll play the song, and then what we would do is we'd look at all the lyrics that support all of the all of the scriptures mm -hmm. that support all of the lyrics. So here's just a, a verse and a chorus. I was lost and living a selfish life. Like many I served, my fleshly desires, my soul needed rescue of sin. I was tired. I'm grateful I read that the Lord said. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. By me, it's by the Lord. There's a piece. You had listen. Hey, look, we might have to we might have to come together, man, and, and um uh, okay. do a collaboration. Okay. I'm telling you. Okay. And uh, you know, yeah. Hey, I went to school. I I had I had the vocal lessons. I have a degree okay. in music. Oh, um, okay. Cool. Yeah. So. Yeah, those harmonies are hidden, bro. Thank you. I I don't have man. any. I don't have any training. I can't read or write. Music. Oh man, it, you sound trained. I, you I sound tra those harmonies. Wow, those harmonies are nice. That's what I do. I I was brought up uh, surrounded by that. So the Lord's Church has singing. So you're it's a cappella. So 
we all harmonize. And so you learn harmony. I learned it. You know, I was, I was brought up. We're going to put something, we're going to put something together then. Let, let's, yeah, let's, let's cut some scripture. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I, I, I mean, God gave me this singing gift. I got to yeah. use it some way. Amen. And this is Absolutely. the best way to do it. Yeah. I use it for bad for so long. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, I tell you, I tell you, Mr. Mays, I, I get, uh, I get disgusted. Um, you know, I I get attacked sometimes, and I and I had to give my testimony. Um, and my my peers were like, "Hey, man, you know, people see they see that old stuff that you had out." And I and I'm like, the reason why I didn't delete it yeah. is because, like I always say, the Bible never took out what what Saul did before he became Paul. He so, record. Yeah, he didn't yeah. take that out. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete stuff like I'm, like I need to hide anything. You need to see that what I said is true. I was wicked. Where, where I was I putting out. From. Yeah. And look yeah. at me now. Look I what, look at what? the content now. Yeah. <laughs> you said I was putting out. What'd you say? You Wickedness. Say, yeah. Just foul oh, language. Man. Lyrics. I, it Simple was foul topic. language. It was yeah, it was promoting a fornication, yes, violence. It was just yeah. all the bad stuff. Okay. And it it, it, it you know, when I look back at it, it's disgusting. Amen. Even I had a talk show and, and I looked at it and I could I couldn't even continue to look at it, Mr. Mays. I was like yeah. I was like, Man, that was yeah. my mouth was so foul. Yeah, although yeah, yeah. And, and I'm like, it didn't matter that I was telling the truth. When you use foul language yeah. it it eliminate it doesn't matter what you're saying yes and and i had yeah. i had to learn that because you, you know some people will try to convince you well man well god used the god used a, a donkey man that donkey wasn't cussing no amen let me tell you something if somebody's using profanity when they're talking yeah. god is not using them that's a lie fact God Amen. partakes in no wickedness. I don't yeah. care what you, even the devil tell you the truth. So, so it's, it's God, it's God in that. No, because all it takes is a little lie that yeah. destroys everything. Yeah. That's how that's, Satan works. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Satan He'll give you truth. Yeah. He'll give you the truth that sounds yeah. good to him itchy yeah. ears yeah. and pull you in. And once yeah. he does it, then he slides the lie in. You'll, you'll believe anything. You'll go for anything. I use that that um, um, that illustration in. Uh, well, I use the illustration of rat poison to teach that rat poison is like ninety five percent good food. It's ninety five percent food. Rat poison is ninety five percent good food and five percent cyanide or whatever the poison is they use. And that's and all that's it takes. Part, that's what. That's the part that kills the rat. <laughs> yep. Kevin Kevin Baldwin <laughs> says Paul says even if you sound awful as long as you are singing the truth God is pleased. So, I believe it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I teach that when I'm when I uh, hold my meetings, um, and I and I do this. I also preach once a month in uh, Galax, Virginia, and I do a sermon song. At least two of the two messages are sermon songs. Um, I tell them. I tell everybody on my meetings now. If you sing, and I kind of set it up. It's kind of like a uh, bait, not a bait and switch. It's kind of like a trick. Anyway, I say, now listen, if you sing off key and out of time, and then they all get all like, whoa. And then I say, but you sing the truth. It's beautiful to the only one that matters. And that's God. He's the that's recipient. Right. He's the that's recipient. Right. Yeah. Truth. Truth is beautiful. Yeah. Because that's all the truth is God. So yeah. it's, it's, it's glorifying him no matter what. Um, yeah. It's just like, it, it, yeah, that sound might be awful to the human ears. Yeah. Just like it doesn't even have to be singing. When somebody's telling you the truth, it doesn't sound good to those devilish ears you have. That's true. Because we don't want to hear the truth. Good. A lot That's of times true. we don't want to hear that. Especially when, when it convicts us, we do not want to hear it. That's right. We, we we close our ears up quick. We try to make some type of excuse as to why yeah. that's not yeah. right. Or, oh, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, we want to buy time. buy more time. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Yeah. It it no. It, it's the truth, and mm -hmm. I'm starting to fall in love with it, even if it convicts me. Because guess what, man? I just want to be on the right side yes. with God. 
Amen. That's it. All that matters. All that matters. That's what that's what he means when he says you have to hate. Yeah. I gotta hate this flesh. Yeah. This flesh wants nothing good for me. Yeah. It just your flesh just want to use you and have fun and yep. lead you right to hell. Yes. <laughs> that's exactly right. The thing about the flesh yeah. is the flesh is Satan because Satan the, the, Satan knows he's doomed. Your flesh knows all it's gonna do is turn into dust. Yeah. It doesn't care about your soul. Right. Because that's what's going to burn if you don't get right. Your yep. soul. Yep. Mm. Mm. Just using you. I'm going to ride this. <laughs> I'm going to ride this guy for a lifetime yep. until. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm going away anyway. I'm going back to the to the ground anyway. Yeah. Worm food. Yep. I got <laughs> I've got one. I started off a. Um, uh, just a little Devo, a, 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 just a video that I made teaching and I started uh -huh. it off. It's weird. It's, it's eccentric. It started off like this. <laughs> You're just an animated, hydrated bag of dirt. Just uh -huh. Animated, moving, hydrated. We're made up of mostly water mm -hmm. and a bag. Your skin is a bag and then dirt. We're made of dirt. So we're just mm -hmm. an animated, hydrated bag of dirt, but really we're the we're the spirit, and we're just riding around in that temporary flesh vessel, just an animated, oh, hydrated man. bag of dirt. I yeah. was I was listening to I was actually listening to some of my old music one time, and I and I was like, somehow, it was like something was crying out to go to God. Hmm. Certain things I would say. Yeah. There was one one verse I said something about it was about it in, in in the in the line of being foolish and it and it said um you're just a walking talking two-legged animal. Mm. And when you think about it, dumb dog. Hmm. You're a dumb dog with two legs. Yeah. That's what I was, a dumb dog yeah, with two legs. The, yeah, when you let the flesh lead, that's what we are. Yeah, dumb dogs. Yep. You know, it's funny because you when you tell people that and, and they don't know scripture, yeah. they're like, he said that? You'll be surprised what, what the Lord said. Yeah. You'll be surprised the things that he said. Nothing yeah, like, foul, but truth. Yeah, like you bunch of snakes, how can you escape the damnation of hell? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he said it. Jesus said it. Yeah. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, it. you know how many times he's called you stupid yeah because when you knowingly do something wrong yeah that's stupid it is it is absolutely that's stupid yeah yeah you know. it's a difference between being ignorant and stupid ignorant you didn't really know any better that's right amen and yeah. and, and that's where the grace comes in but yeah. when you're stupid yeah come on that's a that's a uh, an offense right in God's face. Mm -hmm. You stupid for that. Yeah. <laughs> and you think yeah. something's good gonna come out from that? Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Anytime, anytime <laughs> we live against His ways, it is stupid, and we will pay. We mm -hmm. will pay dearly. Sometimes, yeah, and sometimes for years, even after you repent. Yeah, hmm. and it's funny because some people will say, "Because I'm one of them," I get. He checks me. He checks me pretty quick, and because of that, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful that he checks me quick. Yeah, he'll he'll say, <laughs> "Sit down, Oscar." Hmm. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Puts me in check, man. Yeah. Well, look, I I know you're tired. And um, <laughs> no, nah, man, it's good. We're gonna, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna talk behind the scenes. I'm definitely serious about us putting something together with the okay. with a, with a hymn, absolutely. and um, absolutely. And I would love to have you come on and do a sermon, yeah. and um, we'll talk about that. And right. man, thank thank all you guys that have tuned in. Yeah. Um, absolutely. it's gonna grow. I know, I know, my numbers are, are, are small, but Man, you guys that are in here count. That's all that matters. That's right. It's it's yeah, it's not the vanity doesn't doesn't matter. The vanity doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. all about God. You know, and I hope you guys learn something from, from this great guy here. 
And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. May I close um, in prayer? May I? Please, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go to God in prayer. God Almighty, you are God and you are perfect and we are not. And we need you. Lord, we know that you are God. We know that you are perfect. Your ways are perfect. We know that Jesus Christ is perfect. We believe in you, God. We believe in your son, Jesus Christ. We believe in your perfect ways. We believe in the Holy Spirit and we believe the Bible is your word. It comes from you. God, we believe in you. We thank you so much for a digital connection where we could talk about you and Jesus and your will for our lives. We love you, Lord. We cannot understand the depths of your love for us, but we certainly believe. We believe that Jesus went to the cross willingly for our sins. He laid down his life and that he did so because he loves us. No greater love has ever been shown than what Jesus did on that cross. We believe in his perfect blood as the only solution to our sin problem. God, we thank you so much for giving us Jesus. Thank you for giving us the Bible so we can learn how to be reconciled to you. Thank you for the burning desire to consume your word every day that Oscar has shown. And thank you for bringing us to the truth through your word, Father. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the bond that we share in Christ Jesus. God, thank you for more blessings than we could possibly understand. We thank you for this time. I pray, Father, that the people who uh, have asked about finding the one church that belongs to your son, Jesus Christ, would contact me and that we could find together the one church that Jesus purchased with his own blood. We believe, God. We believe in you. We love you. We only want to be reconciled to you. We only want to spend eternity with you in heaven. We want to be with you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and with the saved. We want to sing praises to your holy, perfect name forever, God. We so look forward to the privilege of worshiping you, being in you and with you and through you. We want to be in this perfect spiritual form after judgment day we really look forward to this god god we know that we sin we know that we still sin and we know that we are stupid for doing it god please help us to repent help us help us as we cry out to you lord in our imperfection as in your perfection we cry out to you for help with this Lord, we know that when we have sinned, when we have sinned temptation to sin in front of us, that you have given us the way out. We know, God, that you have promised that you have given us an escape. Please help us to remember that promise when we are tempted. Please help us to have the courage to look for us for that escape. Please help us to have the courage to take the escape, God. We know that you love us because you sent Jesus. We know that you want us to overcome temptation and we thank you, Lord, for making the way of escape for us. God, please forgive us of our sins through the blood of your perfect son. Please hear this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right on, right on. Woo. Thank you for thank the privilege. You. Thank, you, thank you for coming on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um. Understand tomorrow will be Hawk Moto Tuesday. We got something special for y'all tomorrow. All right, Mr. Mays. Thank you. Until next time. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. And always remember, Christ is